Hi, this is Rob, GW8RDI. Um, I bought one of these ATU100 tuners, 100 watt tuners off uh, AliExpress and it came within about uh, 10 days and um, the quality of the construction is pretty good. It's um, a design by November 7 Delta Delta Charlie N7DDC um, and it really works well. I've been using it with my um, trusty dusty 706 uh, and it handles even tuning uh, at higher powers perfectly well. The only problem that I had with it is that on the back it was missing uh, the DC power socket. Uh, I've drilled a hole there and I've done some modifications so that I can power it off an external 13.8 volt source. Um, on the front there's a USB connector but when you're charging it and you've got it turned on you're charging it you can't use it and the battery is quite small it's quite a small battery so it doesn't last very long so that was really a problem so um, I looked at the schematic diagram uh, which you can see here and this is the 12 volt connector on the board which is this one down here which is this one here okay so the chip is a, a 7550 and the 7550 works um, from about well 5.5 volts up to about 30 volts though please don't try it at 30 volts but it does work fine at 12 or 13.8 volts now the way this unit has been put together is there's um, a little regulator buck regulator which takes a three point what is it 3.7 volts from this lithium battery and ups it to 5.7 volts which is just enough for the 5 volt regulator um, so it's an efficient way of doing it but the problem is the battery is very small takes a long time to charge a long time like overnight and you can't use it while it's charging so not really very useful so the modification is quite simple now there's two ways of doing this you could simply take the power plus here off the main board cut that cable the plus there it's a little earth symbol on the left there there's an earth symbol just there so that that one's ground on the left and on the right you've got power so you could just cut that wire it to a switch um, and either have it switched to the battery circuit power or to an external supplier through a switch so you'd have to mount a switch somewhere and uh, an external socket the way I've done it is um, used a standard barrel socket here the problem with this one is that it's actually metal and it's uh, going to ground if I bolt it on so what this has got it's got a single pole for the plus and then it's got two poles for the negative when it's plugged in uh, this one this pole here nearest to us has the external negative supply or ground when you unplug it these two poles connect together so what I've done is I've isolated the ground from the regulator board now there are two connections to the main board both have ground so you have to so I've cut those two wires wired them to yellow and then then yellow goes to the lug which is isolated from the external supply cable and connects to ground when the jack is removed so to do that I have to isolate or, or cut the ground on the two connectors join it to the yellow and put it to the connector and the positive runs to the positive of the board and and the butt converter well it's not those two have to be connected anyway so um, so that's the circuit uh, it's very very simple so and just to go over that again this socket here on the corner of the board as you can see there is the 12 volt or, or 5 to 12 volt input so you can just unconnect that cable and wire your external or cut the cables and wire a switch or do it the way I did it which is using this barrel connector which has got the two ground poles but you really need a plastic one not one with a metal um, grounded metal because obviously I can't now can bolt that on there unfortunately so it's a little bit Heath Robinson uh, 
you mustn't ground it and it probably you're certainly going to have to put a ferrite choke uh, out here on the cable could put one in here towards this end and tuck it to the side but it's it's going to pick up some RF hopefully not too much uh, so putting um, a choke on the outside is a good idea so that's the mod I've done um, and uh, it does work fine I can just uh, show you that now I'll plug that in hopefully it won't blow up and there you go powered up and as you can see the from the front panel it's in the off position there so uh, it's working off the external DC and if I disconnect it there you go and that's it so a bit of a, a bit of a fuss so anybody buying one of these they really want to check that it's got the DC connector on the back it's certainly worth paying an extra um, five bucks or whatever to to have that